Now, I doubt advanced gamma thermodynamics was a hot topic at ye olde demon hunting school, so I'm just gonna give you the condensed version. I appreciate that. Closest I've ever seen to this substance is pumping through Bruce's veins. Part gamma accelerant, part unknown element. Calling it COIL for now, given its unique atomic structure. Man, I love acronyms. This stuff is more volatile than Nick Fury on a Monday morning. But Hydra doesn't seem to mind. They're using it to get stronger. Exactly. A few drops would make your average salamander look like Fin Fang Foom. Thankfully, with a little help from Dr. Spooky and our haunted oven over here, I think two can play at this game. You are not suggesting we start injecting ourselves with it. No, 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 nothing like that. Though I can see some future applications for my energy drink line, I was thinking we apply this stuff towards upgrading our equipment. I like where this is going. Just give me a little time here and I can whip up some pretty fun toys. How about we give Hydra a taste of their own gamma-powered medicine for a change? Welcome to Tony's Scary Demon Cave. I'm Tony, and how may I assist you today? This never gets old. How long did you say you were exposed to this thing? Eh, it's... How does this look? Have a minute, come meet me in the yard. No demons to report here, boss. Welcome to the yard. At least that's what we're calling it these days. Caretaker put me in charge of your training. Too bad she didn't listen to me yesterday. Now that we know what we're up against, I think we can all use the practice. Any questions? I did, but they are about you. Right when it's time to train? From all Sarah told us about you, she never described you as lazy. I learn faster if I understand the person who trains me. I can respect that. Go ahead. Can I ask about you? I guess. Is your name really Blade? Is your name really the Hunter? Yes. Oh, I... really? Your mom, before she became the mother of demons, looked into your cradle and decided to name her firstborn child The Hunter. That is how I understand it. It takes all kinds. So, is your name really Blade? No. What is it? It's private. Is it embarrassing? No, The Hunter, but I only share it with friends. You do not consider me a friend? Not yet. Don't take it personally. How did you become a Dampir? You say that like I had a choice. I was born this way. How is that possible? A vampire bit my mother. Problem was, I was still in the womb. I'm lucky I was even born. Don't know if that's how it always is, but that's the way it went down for me. How long have you been around? I don't exactly know. I think of myself as mid-twenties, maybe. I lost a lot of time. Much of the last century was a blur. 
I have occasional memories, almost like coming up for air before being yanked back down into the depths. What happened? I killed a lot of vampires. I hadn't lost my mind exactly, but I got into a rhythm and never stopped. Never had a reason to stop. Not until I met Caretaker. And then? She gave me a reason to stop. What brought you to the Abbey? Caretaker. About ten years ago, she brought me back to the real world. Gave me a place to stay until I came back to myself. Did she ever say why? She said she thought I'd be able to kill more vampires if I was acting on more than just instinct. But I know it was more than that. She gave me safe haven here at the Abbey. Something I'd never known. Must have read half the books in the library by the time I headed out. So when she reached out and asked me to be part of this weird little club, of course I showed up. Tell me about the Midnight Suns. All right. Why did you join? Vampire hunting is a solitary affair. Guess I never found the right team. Is that all? No, but that's all I'll share for now. You really want to know? Put in the work. If I trust you, I'll have more to say. What can you tell me about the others? Nothing. Ask them yourself. I'm not asking you to break anyone's confidence. Fine. Which one? Tell me about Nico. She's the youngest, but she acts like she's in charge. Why let her act like that? She's usually right, and she keeps us on track. I didn't think we'd get along, but we wouldn't be the Midnight Suns without her. What makes you say that? She has a lot of heart. And that's why we let her. Who else? What about Robbie? He's exactly what he seems. Well, sort of. He's open with people. Easy going. Sometimes that comes across as dopey, but don't get the wrong impression. He's quick to make friends, and once he does, he's your friend for life. So don't let him down, or I'll hold it against you. Anyone else? What do you know about magic? Keeps to herself. That is it? She's a private person. Until she lets you in, that's all you need to know. When does she let people in? At her own pace. Respect that, and it'll happen faster than you think. Who else? Tell me what you think of Sarah. Well, there are few people I tolerate, even less who I like. Sarah, I respect. She sees the big picture, and we're a part of it. I'd follow her to hell if I had to. And from what I understand, we may have to. I am surprised she commands such respect. I'm surprised that you're surprised. You know what she's like more than any of us. I do. Anybody else? Nobody else. Sure. Do you have any thoughts on the team as a whole? I think we're the only ones aware of the danger Lilith poses to this world. And I think we're pretty green. But enough training will get us through it. Speaking of training, we doing this, or are we gonna keep wasting daylight? I am ready to train. Finally.
ready for more? I think we've got something for everyone. See you around. Like the way you move out there, Hunter. Guess Doctor Strange picked the right supernatural demon hunter to resurrect. I'm Carol. Carol Danvers. But you can call me Captain Marvel. Kidding. <laughs> Carol's fine. Just thought I'd throw a bone to the Avengers PR team. Not gonna lie. Going a few rounds in Vampire Guy's Magic Thunderdome sounds like fun, but... We've got bigger fish to fry. Well, not so much fish as that ginormous, invulnerable sewer monster that swallowed the sanctum. Every lock has its key. True, if only a man-eating alien demon monster hadn't eaten ours. But that got me thinking. Strange Caretaker and the rest of the funky bunch can try and magic their way through that shield all they want. <sighs> if my time as a pilot taught me one thing, it's that sometimes you've got to find a workaround. As in Hydra, they've got to know the way inside. Steve's always said they aren't much for talking. But then again, I'm told I can be rather persuasive when I need to be. Just how far are you willing to go, Captain? Let's just say that I'm willing to unleash the power of a quantum singularity white hole on them, if need be. A uh, quantum... What? You'll see. Find me in the war room when you're finished here. There's a few things we should discuss. Oh, and Hunter? Welcome back from the dead. Nothing is certain these days, but these readings are too distinct to ignore. The Gamma signature is... Sorry, Bruce, we lost you. Did you say Gamma? Yes, Ga... Uh, hang on a second. Come on, Tony. You managed to stream the Super Bowl to a Kree battleship 50 light years out. This should be easy. Oh, we waited all year for that game, and you know the Skrulls would have spoiled it for us if they got the chance. Well, can't you just... I don't know. Work my magic again? See, that's the problem. This time I am working with actual magic, and let me tell you, it sucks. Ow. The gamma signature is completely inverted. The daughter nuclei are being reabsorbed into the parent nuclei, which is impossible. If the Gamma Signature from the Sanctum is really that unique, Bruce, then couldn't we just... Sorry, I'm still working out a few gremlins in the system. Try sunlight, and whatever you do, avoid water. Oh, wait, you're being serious? <sighs> we 
We should be able to track this new Gamma Signature to its source then, right? I'd do it myself, but we seem to be having a little IT trouble today. <laughs> Please. Old Central here is ready to grind through that data like chunk. What exactly is a Central? C-E-N-T-R-A-L. Cognitive Encryption Net Transmogrification. Uh, we'll figure it out later. Sending coordinates now. Hope your gremlins enjoy gamma spectroscopy. Ah, well, he's been a little moody lately, ever since, you know, the problem with the big old green I guy. I heard that. Banner can't turn into the Hulk? Not sure if we should be frightened or relieved. That makes two of us. Oh, hey. Come on. Happens to everyone. Well, okay, not everyone. Nice work, Bruce. I know that place. A creepy abandoned warehouse in the bad guy part of town. My favorite kind. Anybody up for paying it a visit? Definitely. Aw, see that? Teamwork goosebumps. Find me when you're ready. Multi-million dollar piece of experimental technology, and she kicks it. It was just recently that the Hudson Yards Development Restoration Association purchased this entire block. I'll let you think about that one for a minute. just meet you there, but actually curious about Gamma signatures and unstable isotopes aren't really in my wheelhouse, so we'll be patching Dr. Banner through from Avengers Tower once you reach the other side. Almost abandoned off the description of this place you seeing this Bruce getting all sorts of weird down there yo on a fan off that I heard he was 
was dead. Well, hoped is perhaps the more accurate description. Calls himself Faustus now. Hydra's resident mad scientist. Not just Hydra's. Lilith's. That's magic coming from those crates. I can feel it. Yeah? How about gamma radiation? You feeling that too? Because that's some pretty evil looking Hydra tech down there. Gamma and magic. I need you to use your science brain on this one, Bruce. We need to approach this situation carefully. Combining those energies is an explosive proposition at best. Think scalpel, not hammer. Stealth, not strength. Yeah, I don't do stealth. Kill them. I always considered Faustus a bit of a crackpot, but... His fundamental science must be sound. The device would have surely exploded otherwise after your display, Carol. Learned it by watching you, Bruce. Should get the blood pumping. They're mine. You asked for it. Your time has come. All coming back to me. Time to bleed. Don't play. I'll put this to good use. ever facing me looks like they want to try a few more I've never been one to buy into the science of magic but the data I'm seeing is hard to ignore there are more things in heaven and earth Horatio you know you're talking to a vampire an alien hybrid and a resurrected demon hunter, right? Is that all? <laughs> At least monsters are wild and unpredictable. These Rentamurks have no gumption. Even for 
Hydra. Come get it. It's weirdos like these that give people like us a bad reputation. Get some. Opportunity to field test Mother's device. direct all that energy towards your newfound adversaries instead. And the mysterious cargo they're attempting to escape with? They do not seem to be a match for us. You are lucky to still be breathing. Preliminary analysis of the blast confirms high levels of gamma and various unknown energies. Unknown to you. There is dark magic at work here. You must not let Hydra escape with it. You should have known better.
focus here. Reinforcements. Good. To be crystal clear, we won't be able to recreate Faustus's experiment or track potential future variants' gamma signatures without a baseline resonant sample from his initial occult catalyst. Got it. Stop the truck. I saw a move like that once, centuries ago. Watch me! Truly your best? Infuriating, even. I suppose by now I'd normally be tromping through the warehouse, hurling the puny truck at the moon. Don't worry, Bruce. I've got a pair of torn purple pants with your name on them. Just miss their mama. Good. I could use some more practice. I usually prefer quiet entrance. I think you got him. Not to get on your bad side. At least Hydra Green is iconic. If you're a low rent mercenary, I mean. Interesting. As a child, I feared the servants of Lilith. 
Now I teach them to fight. And I thought man thing was ugly. That's one hell of a move. You are a force to be reckoned. That feels so good. One less thing to worry about. Approximately 16,342 more to go. I suggest starting with the remaining Hydra forces in your vicinity. We've done it! What is this thing? Bad guy crate. Full of bad guy stuff. I know those symbols. From the time of the first hunt. That glyph means barrier. That one, almighty. Something, something. Gods and demons. So a spooky bad guy crate. Very spooky. Designed to contain powerful magic. Be careful. <sighs> Got it. Don't cross the streams. Never do. How about we get this thing back to the Abbey and see for ourselves?
Nice job out there, kid. I mean, I didn't get Hydra bombed until my tenth run with the Avengers. Kid, you do know that I'm a good three centuries older than you, right? Then you've got a lot of catching up to do. Okay, Abbey Tournament, tonight. Sure about that? Last one got a little heated. The Eternal Spirits of Vengeance take technical fouls very seriously, especially in the fourth quarter. Forget it. Tonight is movie night. It is always movie night. Exactly. Wow, out of jail again? Who made this game? Wilson Fisk? Well, if parking is free, clearly no one from Manhattan. You know what they say, all work and no play is how we ended up with Ultron. Come on, you should hang out. should rest another time <sighs> let me see how did this work again You answered. Getting hard to keep finding ways to say open door around here. And despite what Robbie says, I don't think the staff of one speaks high elven. Blood magic stuff. Cool, 
room. Spacious. Oh, is that bed for Charlie? Yes. So, if you're planning on giving me some sort of brooding code of the stoic warrior speech, I'm immune. Just ask later, Magic. From what I just saw out there, whatever crazy ancient living weapon stuff Caretaker put you through back in the day did a real number on you. We got a lot of work to do. Work? Yeah, talking to people, making friends, basic human stuff, or quasi-human. <laughs> You're a midnight sun now, one of us. Nico, I was just hydra-bombed. I could use some rest. You and me both. Been bad dreams every night for me lately. I, uh, keep seeing Wanda. She... Never mind. I will meet you outside. Yes! I'll go nuke us some popcorn and you pick out a movie. Oh, and it may just be the two of us. The others went outside, needed to cool off. Really need to hang a fan over that forge, or... Maybe crack open the casket of Agent Winters a little? These missions can't be good for Caretaker's blood pressure. That's twice now her precious hunter has almost gotten smacked by Hydra. Something tells me you don't have a favorite movie. Well, we can start you out with one of my favorites. It's cool, I can wait. I know this entire situation's gotta suck for you. Not just the whole resurrected, chosen one thing. I get why facing Lilith won't be easy. I was 15 when I found out my mother was capital E evil. Sorry to hear you went through that. It was bad, but I learned to deal with it. It's the only way forward, right? Look, I'm glad my mother is gone, but yeah, at times I just want to hear her voice again. Some days I'd give anything to make that happen. Makes me hate her even more. I did not realize you carried such pain. I just learned to bury it. You think I can afford a therapist on a superhero salary? I'm kidding. We don't get paid for this. Uh, enough about our crappy parents. You missed out on decades of good movies. It's my solemn duty to fill this knowledge gap with the best examples I can provide. 
So, the first thing you need to know, the glowing briefcase is a metaphor. Can we do it again? So, what did you think of the movie? I understood more than I should. How? You've been dead for three centuries! I'm not so sure I was dead. Not exactly. I recall a deep slumber, not the void. I... I dreamt. Of what? Of everything. Much of this world is familiar to me. I know it from my dreams. Uh, that's not creepy at all. So, do you know everything? No, I... I think of it like this. I know what a car is, but I have no idea how to drive. You're up to date, but not omniscient. Then I'm guessing you don't know much about me. Just what you shared earlier. You're always free to ask. Like, what's the staff of one, or who were the runaways? I had some questions about your staff. Uh, sure. Uh, but first, um, the basics. The staff of one interprets words or phrases as spells, but it can only cast a spell once. No repeats. Can you tell me how the staff of one functions? It's, uh, blood magic, so my own blood is required to summon it. You wouldn't believe how many adhesive bandages I go through each year. What about the words you speak? They come true. Uh, kind of. And not always the way I expect. It's like making a wish, but you can never make the same wish again. I had some questions about your staff. Go for it. If each magical effect is unique, do you worry you will run out of words? Not really. I only use the staff's power when I truly need it. The rest of the time, I rely on more conventional means. Like, you know, magic. I had some questions about your old team. The Runaways? Sure thing. Were you all heroes who banded together? No, we were normal kids. We saw each other once a year when our parents got together to reminisce. And then we found out two very disturbing things. <laughs> First, our parents were supervillains who sacrificed children to evil gods. Second, each of us had some sort of powerful birthright. Our parents wanted us to follow in their footsteps. What did you do? We ran, but eventually we realized only the six of us could stop our parents and their dark gods, so we faced them and stopped them from destroying reality as we know it. You know, typical kid stuff. Who was on the team? At first, uh, Chase with his mad science gear, Molly, our pint-sized powerhouse, Carolina, the solar-powered sweetheart. Gert had a telepathic link to Old Lace, a genetically engineered Deinonychus from the 87th century. I handled the blood magic, though I didn't understand it much. And Alex? Uh, well, we don't talk about Alex. Where are your friends now? 
Molly attends Xavier's School for Gifted Youngsters. Carolina left Earth to marry alien nobility. Gert, she, uh, she didn't make it. After Gert passed, uh, Chase and I had a falling out. The last I heard, he and Old Lace are living at his family home in L.A. As for Alex, uh, he chose his side, and it wasn't ours. He died with our parents. I should get going. Uh, good, good timing. Um, looks like Caretaker wants to speak with you, and wow, I should get to bed. Time flies when you're hanging out. I'm glad to see you using your free time productively. Looks like you're finding your way around. Maybe making some new friends. I was planning on getting some rest, but... Things are moving at a frantic pace. For all we know, I'll be landing a jet on the roof with Mr. Stark this afternoon. <sighs> Not quite like it was in the good old days. I remember many sleepless nights and blood-soaked days. Always on the hunt. I'll give you that. But there were times back then I wouldn't trade for anything. With both you and... Agatha. Where is Agatha? I'm sorry. I should have had this talk with you much sooner. But you should know... Agatha... She's no longer with us. What? Th that is impossible. She was so... Fierce. Indomitable. Or maybe just kind to a fault. You do not have to do this. Thank you, but I do. I haven't spoken to anyone about what happened. And more so than anyone, you deserve to know. Agatha died in an accident caused by her protege, Wanda Maximoff, the Scarlet Witch. The Midnight Sun's latest recruit, a powerful spellcaster in her own right. Perhaps the most powerful Agatha and I had ever seen. Wanda's abilities were growing. Too quickly for my liking. Agatha was determined to help her control them. I tried to caution her, but she would not listen. There was an incident. An accident, I'm sure, but... Agatha was killed. Yes, incinerated in an instant. Not even Ash to remember her by. The others were heartbroken, as was I. But I also saw the danger, the threat, if Wanda's powers were left unchecked. So I did what needed to be done. I sent Wanda away, to the Sanctum Sanctorum, to study under Doctor Strange. I know the others still harbor a great deal of resentment towards me for it. Was Wanda so different from me as a child? Was it that easy to send her away? I didn't have a choice. Wanda's powers were beyond even her own control. And this time I had no Agatha to help me, as I had with you. I thought she would be safe with Strange. On that part, at least, I was clearly mistaken. Ah, <sighs> Wanda. Agatha. It seems we've lost them both now. I conjured a small shrine to Agatha's memory on the grounds, hoping to find some solace, a way to move forward. You should pay your respects. Maybe you'll find what I couldn't. Good night, Hunter.
Agatha. You always did have the most remarkable eyes, Hunter. Just like your mother's. Maybe that's why you're the first. The first? To commune with the spirits, of course. <laughs> Is this a trick of some kind? Because I am not amused. No, oh, it's no trick, dear. You're just the first to see me. By now you've heard I had a bit of trouble with my corporeal body. I actually find it quite liberating. You are dead. Always straight to the heart of things. That's my hunter. You seem strangely at ease about this whole thing. After a thousand years of living, you learn to take things in stride. Even death. And what have you been doing all this time? Meet me by the cave just over there. You know the one. The Bloodgate? Caretaker always told me to stay away from that place. I think we can safely lift the veil on a few more of our secrets. What's the worst that can happen? looking portal is known as a blood gate and you're the only one among us who can pass through it blood gate caretakers handiwork yes Sarah got a little overprotective after the accident with Wanda it's become something of a habit for her I have noticed that what lies beyond is meant for you as much as it ever was for her assuming you're up to the challenge that is you know I am I do, but it's always polite to ask. That is something. There was a time when the blood stood within these celestial halls to prove their worth. This particular arena belongs to a goddess who often favored Sarah, Ashtor. Sarah, caretaker, was here? Nothing ever comes easy, dear. The Elder Gods felt their descendants needed to earn their blessings, which is why they created these trials to begin with. Trials? I shall. This entire realm exists for that purpose. Trial by combat, with no chance of outside interference. Yes, but I may have found a loophole they never considered. Why don't you try summoning your four-legged friend? <laughs> The old gods are responsible for a great many creations, including your faithful companion. I think even they tend to forget that. Good luck, dear.
As the goddess of balance and order, Ashtor was sometimes called the giver of justice. You can expect a fair point, or at least her idea. You were too weak for this fight. Compared to our girl, these hellhounds are nothing but... Don't hesitate to strike. They certainly won't. Good girl, Charlie. Oh, and you too, Hunter. You finished this trial, but don't worry. The other gods are waiting.
Sarah was right to be wary of this place. But it's your birthright, and I think after everything you've been through, you can handle it now. The two of you, as well as your mother, are the last of your kind, a blood. Your lineage follows an unbroken line to the old gods themselves. And if you call upon them, you might just find they're actually listening. They won't work miracles for you, but their blessings can be quite useful in the right circumstance. Why don't you ask the goddess Ashtor for her aid in dealing with that barrier over there? She believes in our purpose. Must not be her purview. After all this time, it's still just as beautiful as the first time I laid eyes on it. It's hard to believe Lilith and Caretaker brought this place all the way from Transia. Of course, it was no coincidence that they wound up so close to Salem. This area is particularly attuned to the forces of magic. That's why the Elder God's influence was so prevalent here. And why our sanctuary here has remained all but impregnable over the centuries. <laughs> and now I'm rambling on like an old Sorcerer Supreme. Why don't you come see me in the library tomorrow night? Oh, and... Let's keep this just between the two of us for now. I'm afraid Sarah, uh, caretaker, isn't ready to see me yet. Good night, Hunter. Good girl, Charlie. On. Uh, Hunter, please come to the forge at your earliest convenience. Again, that's Hunter to the forge. Thank you. Uh, strange out. Hunter, you're so much more than a weapon. You're fun. Hunter, just in time. His royal weirdness and I were deciding what to do with that nasty little Hydra gift box you found. Ah, yes. The spooky crate? The very one. Though it is far from any mere container, I assure you. I am detecting powerful emanations from inside. If this is a sign of what Hydra is after, I fear we are all in grave danger. My offer still stands. I could fly the thing up and nuke it in orbit. Only way to be sure. Or we could open it, Tony. And perhaps use the mystical energies I sense inside to our advantage. Yeah, I heard a we in there. <laughs> Green goopy gamma serums are one thing. I'm not opening boxes full of mummy curses. You don't have to. Hunter, if you'll allow me. Your second funeral, boss.
Whatever artifact is inside, it's better off than ours. Welcome to Tony's Scary Demon Cave. I'm Tony, and how may I assist you today? You're welcome, Hunter. Always a pleasure. If Hydra is now working to acquire mystical antiquities, then our situation is very dire indeed. We need to find a way to gain the upper hand. And you think you can do it with whatever's in the container? Tony has one of the greatest scientific minds that I've ever seen. I, of course, have an unparalleled understanding of the mystic arts. I have no doubt that we can find a way to research whatever we find in there and have it work in our favor. I just wonder what it could be. I would be highly suspicious of anything that Hydra has had in its possession. My advice would be to do what Tony says. Destroy whatever is in there immediately. With all due respect, Hunter, that would be short-sighted and foolish. For one thing, it's very, very hard to dispose of magical items the repercussions are sometimes... unexpected. Besides, I need all the magical items I can get. And why is that? Right now, with the Sanctum out of my reach, I'm fighting with one hand tied behind my back. It, metaphorically, that is. If I can find items to research, I can give the Midnight Suns every possible advantage over Lilith and her disciples. I look forward to seeing what you come up with. Me too, Hunter. Now, all this talk is going nowhere unless we can get this container open and study what's inside. Step up to the anvil, Hunter. It doesn't bite. Are there any curses I should be aware of? If it were up to Tony, you'd probably be stuffing that item into some machine. Ah. Hoary hosts of Hoggoth. I, I can hardly believe it. What? Is it worse than you expected? No, it's totally unexpected. It's the Eternity Dagger. This was in a place of honor in my bedchamber in the Sanctum for years. The Sanctum Sanctorum is no common domicile to be burglared. These barbarians have no idea what they possessed. Or perhaps they did. Maybe these artifacts are exactly what Faustus and my mother were after to begin with. A distressing thought. If they had my dagger, then who knows what others of my priceless possessions have passed through their greedy fingers. The cube of nothingness. The tear of Prophia, and most worrisome of all. Your toothbrush? 
You, uh, had a little coffee thing going on this morning with your breath? Oh, Tony. Sorry. Doc's right, Hunter. I drank three glasses of holy water just to walk through the Sanctum's front door. This is like a doomsday vault for all sorts of supernatural nastiness. We need to put a lid on this mess. Pronto. I believe Carol is already working on it. At last. Now that this artifact has been returned to its proper owner, we shall see if we can make use of the mystic forces contained within. These were relatively common at one point in history. If only more of my time could be dedicated to study. I'd just as soon leave the fighting to the punchier types. Hey, Hunter, uh, got a sec to spare? You've been here more in the past few days than I have since... ever. The forge is pretty badass, but the creature trapped inside riles up my own inner demon. Um, speaking of, there's something you should know about me. You are bonded with a spirit of vengeance? Damn, you're good! How could you tell? You are not the first Spirit of Vengeance to join the Midnight Suns. I fought beside another, just a few days... <clears throat> three centuries ago. Oh man, um... Sometimes when I have crap to work through, I like to get my blood pumping. Why don't we hit the yard for a sparring session? I know Sparky's excited to meet you. Sparky? That's what I call my spirit of vengeance. His real name is something you'd see written on a symbol, but with like 12 apostrophes. Also, he's not allowed inside after the incident with caretaker Sumerian Sofa. It would be my honor to spar with the spirit of vengeance. <laughs> wow, he's real excited. Never thought he'd get bouncy, but here we are. Okay, let's do this. I'll get Blade to set things up. Won't take a minute. I will head to the yard. Um, when you and Sparky trade places, what does he look like? He's the guy with the flaming metal skull and hellfire chains. Kinda hard to miss. Hunter, ready to get your burn on? I'm talking training with Ghost Rider. Let's do this. Maybe you should be the spirit. Hunter, report to the war room. We've got a mission.
crazy world you woke up to, Hunter. Hydra running around causing trouble, apocalypse prophecies, the Bronx. It is indeed, Daywalker. And that op against Faustus, the way Captain Marvel just absorbed that bomb, unbelievable, isn't it? That bomb was clearly meant for me. I am in her debt. Yeah, but I don't think she sees it that way. She just saves people. Amazing. Smart, quick-witted, fearless, hell, she even glows. And do you find all of your allies equally impressive? Yes, no. Wait, wait, what are you trying to say? You are not used to expressing feelings of affection, are you? I have no idea what you're talking about. My apologies. And if I did, this ain't my first rodeo, you know? Of course it is not. Whatever a rodeo is. Yeah. Well, now that that's settled, maybe I should go sharpen my stakes or something. And maybe we should keep this uh, chat to ourselves for now. <laughs> 